we can overcome anything. I think this, it, in a sense, it does mean a lot more because it's been very difficult the last, I guess, two years, <laughs> you know, to to stay focused on the goal. And that was the Olympic Games. And, you know, we're, we're pushing for a medal position. The Olympic Winter Games are officially underway with the opening ceremonies completed. There are hundreds of Canadians hoping to bring a medal home. I think the Olympics is funny. It's that it's that one time every four years where everyone comes out of the woodworks and they're so excited about what you're doing and they and they want to be involved and they want to cheer you on and they want you to feel support. And it's really great. This is Piper's second time competing in the Winter Olympic Games and Paul's third. The duo recently won bronze at the 2021 ISU World Championships and are now leading a group of new faces for Canada in ice dancing. They say although they've had to live in an extreme bubble to avoid getting COVID over the last 20 months, it's come with a silver lining. But it can get it can get really overwhelming just the mm -hmm. um, the amount of the amount of support and the amount of people reaching out. Um, so in a way, it's been a little bit nice to, to have these constraints and to just really focus on what we need to do. On the other hand, it is a little bit sad that we don't we don't get to be with people and see the people we love. The Olympic figure skating schedule began on Thursday night with the team event and Canada is currently sitting in sixth place. With no fans allowed to attend the games, Cheerios is once again helping fans send hundreds of virtual messages of support to the athlete. It, it, it makes you remember why you started, you know, and having these people and, and friends and family, you know, even being involved because they aren't there. It just, it makes your heart happy and it makes you feel like you're you're a part of something so much bigger than just skating. Piper is actually from Rockford, Illinois, which is the same place that Toronto Raptor Fred Van Bleet is from. And Steady Freddie got some great news on Thursday night. He will be making his first appearance in an NBA All-Star game at the end of the month. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.